Let's talk more sunscreen. Welcome back. Let's discuss some of the most common questions that come to people's mind when you think about using a sunscreen. Even though it's a product that is as much a part of our everyday life, say like toothpaste or body washes, people do take time to adopt sunscreen use and to adapt their routine to accommodate some sun care. So let's get going. The question is this, can you apply sunscreen directly on your skin or should you apply a moisturizer first? Uh, the answer to this depends on three factors. First is the humidity of your place, the character of your skin and the nature of the products themselves. Let's look at the humidity of your place. If you are in a high humidity zone and have oily combination, well, even up to normal skin, you do not specifically need a moisturizer under your sunscreen. Most sunscreens are quite occlusive and you can directly put this occlusive nature of the sunscreen to use by going directly onto sunscreen after cleansing your skin, washing your face, taking a bath, just go onto sunscreen directly. Again, when you do use a particular sunscreen and you feel that the skin is dry, typically more seen with physical sunscreens containing zinc as compared to chemical sunscreens or titanium sunscreens, then you may need to add on a moisturizer before your sunscreen step. But if you are in a dry weather zone, low humidity, extremely cold or extremely hot weather, all of which tends to make your skin uh, mostly dry most of the time, then it is a standard step to add the moisturizer and then proceed onto the sunscreen. The second part of the answer is about the nature of your skin. Um, if you identify yourself as having dry skin in general, no acne, dry thin skin, someone like me, you probably need a moisturizer. We are talking middle aged to older individuals with relatively thin dry skin but without visible pores and your skin doesn't feel moist when you wake up in the morning. In these cases, most likely your skin needs a moisturizer. Uh, you can actually go in directly for a moisturizing uh, lotion or cream in these conditions. Wait for about 10 to 15 minutes and then go on with your sunscreen. If you need to use makeup, you can shorten the wait time to maybe about 5 to 6 minutes. But ensure that the moisturizer is well set and then you go on with your sunscreen. Wait for a few minutes for it to blend, settle down on the skin and then get going with your makeup. If you do have acne and you have regular breakouts but the skin feels dry, due to the climate, you may still want to consider using a moisturizer but you can move this step to your bedtime routine. Having a heavy moisturizer under the sunscreen can clog the skin especially if you're also going to use a good bit of makeup on. And you can simply avoid this by either using a moisturizing sunscreen in the morning or moving your regular moisturizing step to evening or bedtime. Uh, if the climate is extreme and you need a day moisturizer, even if you do have acne, what should you do? Now, this can be answered by the third part that we are discussing. What is the nature of your sunscreen or moisturizing product? Starting with sunscreen. If you are on a chemical sunscreen, usually this will provide very good moisture as well. So you can use this as your moisturizer come sunscreen and this will also be a good makeup base. If you are on a physical sunscreen, make sure to use one that's um, specifically meant for dry skin. You more often need a moisturizer for physical sunscreens, especially if you are in a low humidity zone. Titanium containing sunscreen zinc containing sunscreens, both of them will require some amount of moisturizing. You, basically, you will need to try the sunscreen on for a few days and then add the moisturizing step if your skin asks for it. Now coming to the moisturizer itself. If you have dry skin, you can go with a creme or a lotion moisturizer. On the other hand, if your skin is mostly oily, you will need a water-based moisturizer that can just hydrate the skin without occluding it. There's a common uh, misconception that a uh, chemical sunscreen must be applied before a moisturizer and a physical sunscreen must be applied after a moisturizer. Not okay. Applying a chemical sunscreen then layering it over with an occlusive moisturizer increases the chances of sunscreen filter penetration. Now, increased absorption of chemical filters into the skin and then onto the bloodstream is something we are all trying to avoid with better formulations these days. So it's absolutely not okay to apply a chemical sunscreen then apply the moisturizer and send the chemical sunscreen into the skin. Moisturizer goes on first always. You can skip the moisturizer if the sunscreen is moisturizing enough. That's common knowledge. You need to be able to Listen to your skin about adding on a moisturizer. A few days of usage, you will get there. If you have acne, then you probably have enough sebum in the skin to skip moisturizer. On the other hand, if you have dryness around the mouth, nose area, then you do need a regular moisturizer with your sunscreen product. There is yet another confusion about sunscreens and makeup, where some online sites recommend that you use sunscreen over makeup.
As anyone who has used makeup would know, it's practically impossible to layer anything on a finished makeup look. So yes, sunscreen goes on first. Now if you are using a lot of powder compact mineral makeup, use a mineral sunscreen. There is a 2021 study that suggests that there may be a, an impairment of the efficacy of chemical sunscreens by some types of mineral makeup when they come together on the skin. So it is best to go with the mineral makeup if you are a regular foundation compact makeup user. Alternatively, you can wait some time and then go in to put on your makeup as well. This study here made it scientifically okay for us to use makeup with sunscreen. What they found was A. People used far less sunscreen than they should so the SPF levels weren't high. B. They found that even the SPF makeup did not provide the SPF claimed on the product. What they found instead was that when people layered sunscreen over with makeup, they reached SPF levels that were good enough to provide the recommended sun protection. So this study scientifically actually validates those of us who use makeup over sunscreen. So yay! Now some of you may have a question if SPF foundation or SPF concealer can replace your sunscreen no they cannot this is because if you use 1 ml of sunscreen on your skin to provide 30 SPF it looks like this but if you use 1 ml of SPF foundation to provide 30 SPF on your skin it looks like this accept the truth none of us is ever going to use that much of foundation unless you plan to play the role of a geisha or a kathakali dancer also the true nuance of makeup is that it is not applied evenly on the skin right we highlight we blend we apply more in some zones less in some zones we do all this to enhance certain areas define certain contours so there's no way we are going to use it like a uniform coating all over which is how sunscreens must be applied plus a primer or a foundation is way more expensive than a sunscreen so we're not going to use up or finish up our foundation and makeup supplies the same way we finish up our sunscreen supplies. We are almost in the last bit and all we have to do is identify the sequence in which sunscreen, moisturizer and makeup come in. First the moisturizer goes on, then the sunscreen and finally the makeup. Allow enough time between applications where possible depending on the nature of the product. And a quick recap, if your sunscreen is moisturizing or if it is a chemical sunscreen or if you feel that moisture is adequate on the skin, you can get away with skipping the moisturizer. It's okay. If you have a physical sunscreen, you may need a moisturizer, but even this you will know within some days of usage. If you have acne, skip the moisturizer or use a water-based one or simply move your moisturizing step to your PM routine where the skin anyway is able to absorb stuff better as compared to the mornings. Use a mineral sunscreen to be more compatible with your makeup products if you're using makeup products on a regular basis. And yes, the sequence of layering is this, moisturizer, sunscreen and makeup when you're using all three. Stay tuned as we will discuss more practical tips when it comes to using sunscreens on a regular basis. See you soon.